Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It is May 11th. It is 12 noon on a Sunday. I just wanted to let you know what's going on around here. The temperatures are finally too hot to work and play outside. So uh, if we do any kind of riding, it'll be at upper elevations, like where we went the last few times up in Big Bear. I also would like to get a mammoth trip in as I had gone in 2015 one time with some friends, I was absolutely blown away at the amount of legal off-road riding. Awesome up there. So I'd like to get back up there again towards the end of summer, September, October. So these next few videos are just going to be part of my, my Razer product reviews. There's not a whole lot of product reviews out there for Razer stuff other than from the manufacturer of the product. And those reviews are always good. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and just review all of the aftermarket parts that I will be adding to my Razer. So if you own a Razer, or if you're gonna buy a razor, these are the things that I've done, and this is my opinion on those products. I have a lot of experience in the off-road world. I'm not a pro, I'm not an expert, but I've ridden dirt bikes, I've raced dirt bikes, I've ridden quads for 20 years, I've had several rock crawlers with gears and lockers and lifts, and I've had a ton of fun. Because of the area that I lived for so many years, I could go wheeling and riding right out my back door. Now that I'm almost 53, I do choose to slow it down a little bit, and as they say, with age comes a cage. I originally bought a Razor in 2015 after taking a demo ride with a friend of mine. I was blown away at what the thing could do. He was hitting whoops at 40 miles an hour in the desert, that as we were entering those whoops, I'm telling myself, this guy doesn't know what he's doing, we're about to die. Because usually when you go hit a set of whoops like in a Toyota truck with straight axles, It'll flip side to side, and then you'll just start flipping over. But he buzzed right across the top of those whoops in that razor at about 40 miles an hour. And then he took me on some rock crawling stuff and showed me how the low gearing worked. And then he took me to a little dune set out in Johnson Valley. In one day, I was sold on the razor. So we purchased one in 2015. And the beauty of that, of course, as I've stated before, is you can put your whole family in it. You can put music in it. You can communicate, and you can take off together. And whereas in an older Toyota truck or Samurai like I used to have with the bigger tires, you air down to absorb all the shock of the little stuff. Uh, but you got to go slow in those things. And these razors, you can buzz across the desert at 30 or 40 or even more. But 30 or 40 is fine for us. You feel like you're flying because there's no windshields or windows. And you're not beating up your body. So you can commute to a lot of the little destinations uh, over the desert terrain or going up to Big Bear on the road you saw in the last video and you're comfortable because it has so much suspension it doesn't ride like those short wheelbase off-road vehicles that I was used to beating myself to death all those years. So that's why I bought one. In stock form these things are very impressive. They will rock crawl, they will dune, they will trail, they will desert just like I talked about. And with the addition of just some aftermarket stuff you can really increase the comfort, the utility, and the performance of your machine in terms of clearance, and traction and things like that. And so those are the things I'm interested in. I'm not a drag racer. I don't want to do wheelies. I just want to get the best use out of it that I can get. All right, so that's about enough with all the talking. Let's get to our first review. So today we're going to start with the armrest. I originally wanted an armrest in our 2015 Razor, but I never did it. So when I bought this thing, I said the first thing I'm getting is an armrest. So I looked around, I couldn't find very many alternatives. The only place I could find a decent one was right here on Amazon. And I read the reviews, everyone seemed to like it. It's not that expensive, it costs some money, but it's very heavy steel construction and it, they've done a really good job. The fit and finish of the product itself looks totally professional. The instructions leave a lot to be desired. It's very easy to create a set of instructions in 15 minutes. I don't know why other manufacturers don't do that. Uh, so the instructions were very basic. The pictures were kind of dark because they were printed on like a Xerox machine or something. I uh, had to kind of figure it out myself. It was pretty easy because it's a small puzzle with very few pieces. But you do have questions. You know, do you want the mount underneath your seatbelt latch, on top of your seatbelt latch? Stuff like that that you just have to figure out what you think is going to be best. And it all comes together and it came together all for me in about an hour taking my time. 
So you yank the two seats, pull the center console up in the back where the seat belt mounts are. There's some plastic plugs in there, the clips that need to come out. You lift that up, you shove a hammer or something under there to keep it up, and that gives you access to the seat belt receptacle bolts. Take those out, lift out the receptacles, put the bracket in there for the armrest, bolt it all back together, put the plastic back on, and then you add the top portion of the armrest after that. Pretty simple. The armrest really isn't a storage device. It looks big. It looks like a box, but it's actually just a big chunk of solid foam. And then when you unzip the cover and lift that is where the storage is. You're talking an iPhone, credit cards, money, maybe a wallet. That's about it. But the Razer comes with four compartments already, so you really don't need a lot of storage in that armrest. I don't count that as a negative. That's just a fact. It's not really a storage device. So what are the pros of the product? It's very comfortable. You know how you ride your car to work? One hand here, one hand here like this. It's very comfortable. You're able to relax and just cruise like this. Uh, if you have a passenger in the other seat next to you, it's kind of like being at the movie theater. You know, you got to figure out whose arm's going to go where. Not a big deal because it's got a pretty large surface area, much larger than a movie theater armrest. So it's not cheap, but it's not expensive. It provides a lot of comfort. It does everything it says. On the negative side, a couple things. If you slide your seat back, the right side of that seat will pop behind the armrest. And as you try to move forward, it'll grab the back of the armrest and it'll be very hard to slide your seat forward. As I was doing this the first time, I noticed that it was bending the armrest. Now, I don't think it was bending and reshaping the metal, but I think it was flexing it until I grabbed the edge of the seat and pulled it forward and then it, it bounced back. So you got to watch your clearance with your seat as you move back and forth. Number two, if you were to put your elbow on the armrest and use it to lift your body like you would in your car, it's going to flex forward. Again, I don't think you're going to bend it, but it's going to flex. So that kind of gives you a weird feeling. You just want to rest your elbow on it. And then the final one is it makes your seatbelt receptacle pretty hard to, to get to. Uh, as your seatbelt receptacle would be here, and then the armrest is here. It's underneath. So you have to pull it out to get your seatbelt in. So what I do is I put half of my body on the seat. I pull out the receptacle. I snap it into place and then I get all the way in. That's just me. I'm not a huge guy, but I'm a bigger guy. I'm over 200 pounds. So if you're a little guy, this might not be an issue for you. All in all, if you like an armrest, there's not a whole lot of them out there. I think the best one is the one that I got. You can find it here on Amazon. I will post the link in the description below as well as the screenshot of the original sale. Uh, that's gonna be my review. I'm gonna go ahead and give this armrest two thumbs up. Mm -hmm.